Like, I can't believe that this is the end. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Ask me. Kaya, this is a big moment in your life. And in Sochi, you had scribbled on your arm, no moment defines me. So how does this moment define or add to the definition of Kaya Tursky? Well, you know, I, I look back on my career in sport and it's been, it's been an incredible journey and I've experienced so many, so many amazing and beautiful and hard and every adjective I could ever think of using, I've experienced that moment. And so I look back and I'm kind of a product of all of those moments, you know, that that journey of of my lifetime and it's crazy that that's I'm only in the beginning phase of my life you know and this is this is the next step in my journey and it's another moment in my journey and it's new and it's foreign but it feels right and so you know I'm gonna I'm gonna pluck it and and keep it keep it in and and go on, go on with my journey and continue, continue this life. Why now? Uh, you know, it's been, it's been a wild ride. And I look back at this career that was over a decade long in professional skiing. And I've, I, I really, I pushed my limits. I pushed my capacity as, as far as I could. And, and I, I think back, I look back on that and I feel so proud and I feel whole, you know, I feel like I can, I can walk on with pride and, and with satisfaction because I can say that I pushed it to, to the best that I could and the farthest that I could. And I just, um, you know, I'm, I'm at a point where my body is having, my physical body is having some, some issues um, maintaining itself in the sport. and emotionally and mentally I'm, I'm feeling more more drawn to a more kind of settled life and and moving on to to studying and learning and sharing part of my journey um, in in other ways you know and in, in different ways than to just then in the start gate and so that's that's where I'm at uh, that's where I've come to and and a lot can change in in months or a year and and so I had full intentions of going to Korea. That was a big goal of mine, but I just, my gut has, is telling me something else now and, and my gut's always taken me in the right direction. So I'm following it. I don't have regrets. You know, I've certainly hurt myself along the way, emotionally, physically, mentally. I've gone through a wide range of severe injuries and, and I'm currently struggling with, with a significant injury, but I, I wouldn't trade my experience for the world. I, you can't learn the things that I've learned. You can't experience them without having gone through them, you know, the ups and the downs. And I'm so grateful for that journey. And I have no regrets. I'm, I'm happy. What's the biggest lesson you've learned about yourself? <sighs> that I'm made of steel. I'm made of steel. I can handle a whole lot more than I ever thought I could could handle. I've been put to the test and I've I've pushed on, you know, and I, I haven't only persevered but I've thrived, you know, and against a lot of adversity. So I'm made of steel. <laughs> now, so before you tie a bow on this career and call it done. Is there anything else, any other message you want to convey? I just want people to know that it's okay to dream, you know, it's okay to be unrealistic and to think big because everything I ever did, I did because my mind wandered there and I didn't accept the idea of things being impossible. I just I believed, you know, and and I I trusted that I could handle the leap, I could handle the fall. And I think if you trust in yourself, to, in your ability to get back up, then as cliche as it sounds, the sky really is the limit. So. 
Now the most important question, what is going to be your most common meal post-athletic career that you were avoiding as an athlete? <laughs> Pizza. Now that I'm free, I'm gonna enjoy some good old cheese pizza.